Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. This is part two of the video tutorial series on how to create an image gallery in ASP.NET Core 2.1 project. In my last video tutorial, we finished setting up our environment for creating our image gallery. Now we will be creating the required model classes and our database contacts class. We will use these model classes to create our database table using the Entity Framework Code's Code First approach. The DB Context class will be used to communicate with our database using entities. So if you are not familiar with Entity Framework Code's Code First approach, I recommend you to go and read Microsoft documents on Entity Framework. Now, the first thing that you want to do is right click on the project folder and add a new folder. Name your new folder as Models. Now let's go ahead and create the model classes for our image gallery. So the first thing that you want to do is right click on your Models folder and add a new file. I'm going to create a class. So let's add an empty class and call this class as Gallery. And click New. Now let's add another class and call this class as gallery image and click new. So these are the two classes that we will be using in order to create our image gallery. So let's add some properties to our gallery class. So that's the properties that we have created for our gallery class require a gallery ID which will be automatically generated by entity framework and then we have another property which is the gallery URL that's the URL of our gallery and then finally we have the title as each gallery will have its own title so that's it for our gallery class. Now let's go ahead and create properties for our gallery image class. So we have finished creating our properties for gallery image. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a relation between these two classes. The reason why we want to create a relation between these two classes is because Let's say you want to delete a particular gallery from your database, okay? Now, when you delete that gallery, you also want all the images associated with that gallery to be deleted as well. And it can only be achieved when you have a relation between these two classes, which is the gallery and gallery image. And to create that relation, we will create two properties, one in our gallery class and the second one in our gallery image class. So let's go ahead and create our first property that is going to be our property of type interface collection. So all you're going to do is create a property public eye collection type gallery image and then call the property as gallery images and get set. If you're getting an error, just add the missing reference, which will be system.collections.generate. Okay. And also when you are going to create your databases using the code first approach of entity framework you will not see any column being generated for these two properties that we are going to create you will only see columns being created for these three properties in our gallery and the four properties in our gallery image okay now let's go ahead and create a property for relation in our gallery image class this property will be called as our gallery property so of type gallery Okay guys, so this is it for our two classes. So we have all the properties that we need. We have also created a relation between these two properties. And we have used iCollection here because each gallery will contain a collection of images, whereas one image will be a part of one gallery. So we have one to many relation created here. Okay, so now, what we are going to do is next thing we want to do is we are going to go ahead and create our 
application db context class now what is an application db context class an application db context class is a class that we will use to communicate with our database okay so let's go ahead and create that class